hello everyone and welcome to my channel kotiko maven so today we will see how to upgrade from pnp powershell legacy version to pnp powershell 2.2.0 so for this i have five points which i will implement in front of you step by step so first step is what is a legacy version second why to upgrade third prerequisite fourth installation demo and fifth is alternative of windows powershell iac so why this fifth point we will discuss uh, in this video later on so first of all what is a legacy version so if i open my windows powershell iac and type this one enter so you can see the name of the PNP module is SharePoint PNP PowerShell Online and the version is 3.29.2101.0 So when you have the module named SharePoint PNP PowerShell Online that means you are using a legacy version because the upgraded version's name is now PNP.PowerShell Now second, why to upgrade? To understand this, let me connect to a SharePoint online site using connect PNP online version. So you see there is a warning coming up here. So what this warning say is you are running the legacy version of PNP PowerShell. This version will be archived soon, which means that while staying available, no updates or fixes will be released. So this means that this legacy version will be archived soon. Archived means it won't be get deleted. You still can use this version if you wish to, but they won't update uh, this version anymore. They won't fix any changes anymore. They won't insert any new changes in this. Although in background they have changed the authentication method for PowerShell. So if you keep on using this legacy version, you might face many problems in future so it is a best practice to upgrade to the new one so we are again uh, on the windows powershell iac and i am checking the version of my powershell here and you can see the version is 5 now to upgrade from legacy version to pnp.powershell 2.2.0 your powershell version should be 7 this windows powershell iac is integrated with the version of 5 and we cannot change it so it is not advised to install or upgrade the pnp powershell using windows powershell iec so if you have powershell 7 installed in your machine well and good you can start right away but if you are not having windows powershell 7 in your machine so here are the steps to install install it open your browser go to this link i'll give the link in the description box below please check so installing powershell on windows if you drag down Yes, you will see installing the MSI package here. So there are two versions for 64-bit and 486-bit. I am downloading this MSI for 64-bit. So let's download. Okay, once the download is over, open in folder and start installing using your administration account i already have installed it so i'm not going to show you the process of installing it i'm sure you can see this documentation which i opened few minutes back in the browser to install the powershell 7 on your windows machine once that is done now we are all set to install or upgrade from powershell legacy version PNP PowerShell 2.2.0 hence you see the next step is installation demo so let's go now 
you can keep the legacy version and alongside you can install the PNP PowerShell version but I want to clean everything I, I don't want to keep using the legacy version anymore that's why I will first uninstall the legacy version and then I'll install the upgrade that is the pnp.powershell 2.2.2 okay I have closed my Windows PowerShell IS I will run it further as uh, administrator to uninstall the legacy version I'll uninstall the legacy version from the Windows PowerShell IC itself so the command is uninstall module SharePoint PNP PowerShell online force all versions okay when it is successfully executed close this Windows PowerShell IC it is of no use now now open the PowerShell terminal from the new PowerShell 7 we have just downloaded when you open it you rightly see the PowerShell version on the top 7.3.6 now we are running this command install module pnp.powershell writing A here and then clicking on enter So that is done right now the authentication method has changed a lot with this pnp.powershell so it is now using oauth so sometimes if you are working in an organization you can see an error message that uh, you don't have access or consent has not been given uh, from the azure ad from the global administrator so in that case what you need to do run this command register PNP management shell access this PNP management shell access is a Azure application under Azure Active Directory so I am a global administrator so I can run this without any error okay let me run it if I click it so you can see all permission required are appearing here these are basically permissions for, for SharePoint online from for Microsoft graph API uh, like that so you can go down and click consent on behalf of your organization and click on accept so you only can do this if, if you are the global administrator or tenant administrator so if you're not a global global administrator uh, instead of running this command write this command register PNP PowerShell access show consent URL click on it yes I need consent for this account so here you can see the URL right copy it so I'm the global administrator you are sharing this link with me as a global administrator I'll simply go to my browser I'll open that link that you have shared with me I'll click as I am the global administrator my account is only coming but when your global administrator will run this and they need to uh, they need to use their credential once they authenticate they will see this form for you to give access so they can go down all together and they just can click on accept so once this is done you will have the full setup for PN, pnp.powershell module now now that everything is done you can check your module get module pnp powershell you can say the version is 2.2.0 the name is now pnp.powershell not the sharepoint online pnp powershell module and that's it your installation is completed now the last point why we need alternative of windows powershell ic because the pnp.powershell upgraded module won't work correctly in uh, windows powershell iac uh, because the integrated powershell version is 5 in a windows powershell ic and to run everything correctly please use uh, powershell 7 which we have downloaded and installed recently or if you are an IEC user now you want to uh, run everything 
like the IAC experience that is where it comes a need of alternative of Windows PowerShell IAC so we can set up it using Visual Studio Code and PowerShell 7 so it will exactly work as a Windows PowerShell IAC version so let me know if you want me to demonstrate uh, that code setup for you how to install Visual Studio Code then how to integrate PowerShell 7 in it and how to run your .ps1 codes how to write your .ps1 codes using Visual Studio Code plus PowerShell 7 so in the comment section below please write me you want me to make that video or not a bonus and very important point please go to this URL and you will see a table of changes that has been made from a legacy version to the uh, upgraded version so that you won't get panic that okay uh, I have a old script and uh, this command or this command was there uh, it was working my script it is script is not working because they have changed uh, a lot they have uh, obsoleted this web parameter ev everywhere then uh, this is these are the old uh, legacy version commands uh, which are replaced with new ones so they have only mentioned the commands which are changed not all the commands so from here you can see all the changes uh, get pnp unified group is now get pnp microsoft 365 group okay if you are using this get pnp unified group in your upgraded version it won't, it won't work uh, you need to use get pnp microsoft group instead so let me give you a demo if i try to use this so it is not working so it is clearly saying this is not recognized so why now you can use in this one this will do exactly the same thing for you you want to get all the Microsoft 365 groups so you can use this one so in my Azure tenant we ha I have just two um, uh, groups so it is bringing me these two groups so don't get panicked and if something in your old script is not working come to this upgrading.html and find uh, what is the upgrades uh, upgraded commands and use that in your script so it will it will run successfully so i think that is it for this video guys if you have any question any query anything you are stuck anywhere just write me your comments in the uh, section below and in the description box i'll give all the urls i have mentioned uh, that uh, will be useful for you so i think yeah we're good so see you in the next video bye take care